Are you struggling to turn content into sales? Well, today we're gonna to talk about how to create content that actually engages your audience and then converts them into paying customers. So let's dive in. So according to a 2024 report by HubSpot, video content continues to be the main high converting content format with 72% of marketers reporting that it produces more conversions than any other type of content. So blogs, long form articles with interactive content like quizzes and polls show strong engagement and conversion rates while social media posts, particularly on platforms like Instagram and TikTok, are also proving to be highly effective, especially paired with compelling visuals and even strong call to actions. But video still stands as the main pinnacle, the main essential piece of content you need in your content marketing efforts to actually create content that engages and then invites in a very natural way, your ideal audience to then take the next steps with your business. And then there's a study by DemandGen that highlights that B2B buyers are increasingly favoring video content, with 87% saying they are more likely to engage with the brand if they offer informative and easily digestible video content. Plus, a survey by Content Marketing Institute found that 61% of consumers prefer content that is visually engaging and easy to consume, like infographics, but more so short videos. So how are you using video content and your content marketing efforts? Is it foundational to what you do? Are you avoiding it because you're not quite sure who the spokesperson should be in your company or how to get started simply with producing video content consistently? Well, let's talk more about that today and what it can look like for you specifically. First, let's talk about how video becomes the easiest way to capture attention. Think about it, whether you're on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and you're scrolling through the feed, it's a feed of video first content. And think about the type of video content you actually stick around to watch, especially when you're on short form channels. It's always content that has a compelling hook that's relevant to you. Whether you hear what's being said or see what's being communicated, both the visual hook and the audio hook are important to capture you or to capture your ideal audience and invite you to keep watching. And when you keep watching, that's gonna tell the algorithm that you want more of that type of content or that specific channel. So they're gonna give you more of that type of content the next time you're searching and scrolling. So when you can show up consistently, meaning every single day to your target audience on the channel that they are actively scrolling on and consuming their content on, then the algorithm will keep feeding your content to them. And that's gonna help engage them and build a community around your brand and around the message you have to share. And what short form content does is it allows you to communicate something that may be complex or just a simple message in a short amount of time. And it really tests your understanding because typically we've all heard the saying that talks about how if you cannot communicate something simply, you do not understand it enough. So beyond video, consider blogs and long form articles. SEO is being hurt definitely by AI and all of the AI driven written content that's on the internet. However, it's still guiding consumer decisions, meaning when someone needs to search for something, yes, they're going to ChatGPT, yes, they're going to TikTok, yes, they're going to YouTube, but Google and search engines like that are still a powerhouse that you need to invest in your SEO efforts. We've seen it work incredibly well, where we're ranking on page one for our company for two major search terms, that is video production services. We're currently on page one, number one, and then course creation services, where we are on page one as well. And now it's hands out for us to generate new leads and engage our audience from anywhere in the world. From an agency side, it's incredible because we don't have to rely on referrals or going to networking events. Those are still powerful tools for our marketing channels, but we're able to use content like the written word and optimize articles and websites to attract leads and then guide them to becoming paying customers. So those organic efforts are incredible with SEO and organic when it comes to social media and posting on relevant channels where your audience hangs out is also very important. Because when you can immediately deliver the right type of message for the right audience at the right time on the right channel, then you can engage them at the appropriate time that you may be delivering on a key message in their buying journey that they may be coming more problem aware, meaning they're aware of their pain points and 
where they're having issue in their business or in their life, and then naturally introduce the solution. Because the more you can show your deep understanding of someone's problems and pains, again, be that in their personal or professional lives or business, the more that they'll see that you have the solution for them. Whether they buy right now, immediately, whatever product or service you have to offer, or months or years down the road, it's starting to build up that relevancy and that top of mindness with your target audience. And that's how content starts to engage and builds up short form benefits, but definitely long term benefits as well. And then, of course, creating content that converts leads into sales, you need to consider a multi format approach. When it comes to a simplified marketing strategy and building content for the marketing or sales funnel, there are three phases of content creation. There's the traffic, leads, and sales phase. Traffic is where you should invest most of your content creation, and this is where video is going to be most beneficial because you're introducing your message, your product, your services, your belief systems to your audience for the first time or multiple times down the road where they can engage with you for free. And then as they start to visit your website, go to a landing page, maybe opt in to your newsletter or a lead magnet, they become then a lead. And you have more targeted content on that next step in the marketing funnel. And then once they pay for your product or service, you have the opportunity to use the written word, email retargeting, video content to do an upsell, do a back end offer, and further guide them on their continuous buying journey and engagement with your company. So consider where video content and really all types of content can fit into your customer's buying journey or the sales funnel. So to further engage and eventually convert new leads, you can engage with them in email. So you have their email and you can send out weekly emails more frequently, less frequently based on your audience and really a strategy that can pivot and evolve but in those emails, you can share free content. Maybe it's a YouTube video, maybe it's a LinkedIn post, something that shows your thought leadership from you and your company, or maybe from a member of your marketing team, or maybe it's a customer testimonial video. And of course you can reshare blog articles into those emails as well. But remember to always consider what stage of the buying journey and of the engagement journey your audience is on, because that will change the type of message. You don't wanna come out so strong in the traffic phase that you turn someone away by saying, buy now, buy this now, without giving them a compelling reason to how this can benefit them or just providing free value with no expectation of anything in return. So give more than you receive. But when they have more familiarity with you and they understand a little bit more about your message, what you stand for, then when they're in the lead phase of marketing, you can start to get more direct with your call to actions, be that an email, maybe follow-up video campaigns, or other direct messages and follow-ups that you may have. And then of course, in the sales phase, they're already engaged paying customer, and you can simply invite them to continue to buy through particularly email marketing, but also social media ads like video. Okay, so this is one of my favorite things when it comes to content, is to personalize content to increase conversion. So what does personalized content look like? Well, it is literally having a personal piece of content to deliver to a specific type of customer. You can send out a personalized video follow-up or message in email or using other video follow-up tools or even direct messages on social media and say something like, hey there, Sarah, this is Dallin with Content Supply. I just wanted to follow up on our conversation to say, I appreciate you following our channel or engaging with our community. Now we have a free resource that will help you level up your video marketing, where we talk about how to develop and execute on a comprehensive video strategy to help you grow your business. If this is of interest to you, feel free to click on this link and check it out. Thanks again for following our journey and we'll talk soon. Something simple like that, hey, it could be scripted, it can be off the cuff like that, but make sure that it's personalized. So that is a little high level. You use their first name because people love to hear their name, but get even more personalized. Call out their company or call out their specific region of, of maybe where they, they live or if you know their specific interests, be that sports teams or hobbies, you can connect with them on a shared interest level or hobby level and you can have a conversation around that. Of course, it doesn't always have to come through video. You can send an audio message. You can send a quick text follow-up message. Don't make it super long.
but remember to always personalize either your follow-up or an engagement piece of content to really guide your audience through their journey to becoming engaged paying customers eventually. So a report from Ypsilon revealed that 80% of consumers are more likely to purchase from brands that offer personalized experiences. Personalization increases engagement by making content more relevant to the user's needs and preferences, leading to higher conversion rates. So for example, Amazon's recommendation engine is a classic case of effective personalization, driving a significant portion of its sales by suggesting products based on past behavior. And then there's tools like HubSpot, Segment, or Dynamic Yield that allow marketers to create personalized content experiences at scale. These platforms use data from user behavior, purchase history, and demographic information to tailor specific types of content. So there's personalized email campaigns, maybe a dynamic website content, and tailored product recommendations that all become effective strategies to personalize messages. There's even tools that allow you to say, hold up a whiteboard or a piece of paper, and you create one piece of video content where you have the name of the potential client or customer, but then you can have a screen share tutorial of their website or social media profile. And it personalizes the content, but it can do it at scale. Now, personalization is highly effective because people want to feel like there's something specific for them and they want to hear their name. They want to hear that you're talking to their specific wants and desires and pain points. However, it can feel a little overwhelming, especially when you're trying to do it at scale, because at first it can feel like there's too many manual steps. It takes too much time just to send one video to one person when you have hundreds or maybe thousands of leads to reach out to and follow up with. That's why you need to get the right tools in place that allow you to do it at scale. AI can also help with personalizing messages. Maybe use AI video where you record one video with one type of message, but then the AI video is adapted and customized for a mass email list of different clients to talk about their pain points and needs, a script that's adapted to their specific name and their company, but be careful with that. Because AI video is amazing, but when it comes to using real humans, there's kind of an uncanny valley is what it's called, where the mouth may be moving to the words, but the intonation of the AI voice or the movement of the body can feel unnatural and too robotic and not human enough, where I invite you to focus on human-driven content creation. AI tools is making it easier now than ever to create content basically at an unlimited scale. But don't focus too much on AI that it sacrifices the human element of your brand. Because if anything, you're gonna stand out in the long run as a brand builder, as a marketer, when you can focus on human-driven content. Because people are gonna starve for it. The more they see AI-driven content, they're gonna be able to recognize what's AI and what's human. And they wanna connect with human. We connect with humans first. Now I mentioned it, but let's talk about how AI impacts your content creation, but also your ability to convert your audience into paying customers as well. Now, it seems like there are new AI tools coming out every single day. Some of the most common and popular ones right now are ChatGPT, of course, Grammarly, Jasper, and many more. And these tools are transforming how content is created and optimized for conversions. So for example, Prasado uses AI to generate and test different versions of copy to find the one that performs best. This increases conversion rates by up to 41%. In a similar way, AI-driven chatbots are enhancing customer interactions on landing pages and websites. This also leads to higher conversions and engagement by providing instant and personalized messages and recommendations. A case study done by Optimizly showed how AI-powered A-B testing helped an e-commerce site increase its conversion rate by 25% by identifying the most effective page design and content. Another example is Netflix, which uses AI to personalize content recommendations, which drives higher engagement and retention on its platform. But as mentioned, while AI can do amazing work to optimize recommendations and personalize messages at scale, it's essential to balance using AI too much but yet sacrificing human creativity and input. Obviously, you don't wanna to be too manual with your steps, especially when you personalize content or 
you're creating content. But despite how amazing AI, convincing AI will get, there's still going to be an AI radar is what I'll call it. It's gonna go off in someone's head when they see an AI driven piece of content. It may not be the AI voice that's generated, but the AI human video. And people buy from people, they buy from humans. They don't necessarily buy just from robots. That can work, but to a certain level. So make sure that you consider your own human input and creativity when you go to create content, especially when it comes to video. Because in video, this is where story comes into play. AI can generate stories and even fake stories, but hearing from a unique perspective that is only available from you and the perspectives of your team members, that can't be replaced by AI. As much as you give the proper prompts and inputs to AI, there's only so much can be done to a human narrative that's real, that's authentic, and that people yearn for. So invest in the right storytelling that actually comes from humans and not from a robot. So of course, yeah, implement AI tools in as much as you can in the content creation workflow, but don't sacrifice it to giving up on human creativity and input. Quick tip, make your call to actions as clear and simple as possible and benefit driven. So something like, yes, I want to grow my business, start now. So instead of generic phrases like, click here, or even get started, try using more compelling language that tells the user exactly what they'll get, such as get your free guide or start your free trial. You wanna create a sense of urgency by adding words like now or today. You don't necessarily wanna make the button text as long as possible, but think of something that's more benefit driven as well, like yes, I wanna grow my business or yes, I want this guide something that implies they are taking personal action and, and it personalizes the call to action to their pronoun of I. Are you looking to amplify your brand's presence with powerful short form videos? Well, our short form video marketing services here at Content Supply has got you covered. Our scalable services let you create as many videos as you need from a single impactful piece to an entire campaign of unlimited short form video content. We handle everything for you from the development, to the production, editing, and distribution across all platforms for short form video like Instagram, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, LinkedIn. So let us level up your content strategy with short form video content marketing. Visit videosupply.com to learn more and get started. Okay, so we've talked about how to create engaging content that actually converts leads into sales this is one of our account managers or social media video strategist, Kate. Kate's gonna tell us about current trends and strategies when it comes to content conversion. One of the most important strategies in converting views into sales is to get people off of the platform that they're currently on and onto the platform where you can sell them something. With our video content and our social media strategies, what trends and strategies are you finding most effective to convert leads into sales? You can incentivize your viewers to do this a lot of different ways, but one of the best ways that you can do it is by giving away free value. For example, let's say you're a financial expert and you post a reel explaining something complicated in the stock market. You could end your video by saying, comment down below the word free guide and I'll message you my free guide to investing in the stock market for beginners. You can use a tool like ManyChat to message the people that comment on your video. And that message could contain a link to your website which holds the free guide. And you could require that people put in their email in order to be emailed the free guide. And the benefit of doing that is that now you have hundreds of new emails that you can put into an email list. And now you can communicate with them through email as well as Instagram and sell products to them over and over and over again. And then how do you measure the success of content conversion? The strategy I just described is also a great way to measure the success of your content because you can so easily measure how many people started on your content and then actually converted to go into your website. So if you're a business owner and you haven't checked out ManyChat yet, I highly, highly recommend it. They have both a paid and an unpaid version. I think it's great for everyone. Now what Kate is talking about is 100% true. It's worked for our clients and it can work for you too. So you may be asking yourself at this stage, how do I know my content is actually generating new leads and sales for my business? I've been putting out tons of video content on social media. I've tried podcasting. I've done blog article writing. How do I know that all these efforts with my content creation and marketing are actually working. Well, most likely you already have this in place, but you've gotta make sure to use data to guide a lot of your content decisions. 
and creation choices. Whether you are a part of a small marketing team or a large marketing department, using data to guide a lot of your decisions when it comes to content, whether that's pivoting certain hooks or adapting to certain social media marketing campaigns and trends, consider some of these tips when it comes to knowing whether your content is actually working. First, set clear conversion-based goals. Start by defining what a successful conversion looks like for your content. It can feel difficult to measure every single piece of content. That's why you should consider incorporating UTM links where you can track where leads or sales come from from a specific piece of content. Oftentimes, if a paid campaign is your type of content that's driving leads and sales, that is more trackable. But for organic posts on social media or any type of content you put out there, in the description or the call to action, you can put a UTM link that again, tracks that specific contact or lead from the channel they engage with your content on to the point of conversion. To track conversions, it can be something as simple as tracking the new contact or lead that comes through when they sign up or register or opt into a free resource, or it could literally be a completed purchase when they paid for one of your products or services. Having specific and measurable goals in place for conversions from your content allows you to know and measure whether your content is actively engaging and converting your audience from leads into sales. Another content conversion tip is to use analytics tools. So tools like Google Analytics, HubSpot, or Adobe Analytics are essential for tracking key metrics such as conversion rates, bounce rates, and time on page. So set up these conversion tracking tools to monitor how visitors are interacting with your content and which pieces are actually driving the most conversions. Another tip is to monitor engagement metrics. So what are engagement metrics? Well, this is where you need to pay close attention to metrics that indicate engagement, such as click-through rates, CTR, social shares, and comments. So high engagement often correlates with high conversion rates, as it shows that your content resonates and actually is working with your audience. Another way to measure your content engagement and conversion is to use A-B testing. So A-B testing is great to compare different versions of your content or different hooks and styles. You can test different headlines, different call to actions, images, video angles, all to see what is working with your audience and maybe what's not working. You can use tools like Optimizely or Google Optimize to help you conduct these tests more effectively. Also, test the customer journey. Each stage of your customer journey from the moment they engage with you on social media or anywhere for free that you put free content out for them to watch or engage with to the point of them buying and being a part of your paid customer community, understand what that journey looks like and if there's any friction or a lack of a clear message on that journey. And then make sure to optimize, fix and improve each step of that customer journey. Also do regular content audits with your marketing team. This is where you review the analytics from the tools that you have. Also check out the reports from your A-B testing, look at the analytics direct on the dashboards you have, be that on YouTube, LinkedIn, and elsewhere, all to identify what types of content are actually performing, maybe what's underperforming, and then seek to optimize with new or better call to actions, keywords, or try repurposing the better performing content on channels that you are sharing them on. Another concern we often get from clients, and maybe this sounds like you, is what's the best way to optimize my content for conversions? Okay, so we talked about how to create content that engages and converts leads into sales with the focus on using video. Always do a video first content marketing approach. Video is the most impactful because it uses all types of content in one. Visual, audio, the written word, so invest in video first marketing. And remember, the key to converting leads is understanding your audience intimately, knowing the messages that are gonna resonate most with them, speak to their pain points, their wants and desires, and refine your content strategy accordingly. Thanks for joining me in this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this, and we'll see you in the next episode.